Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and today we're gonna print a truck, but not just any truck. We're printing a taco truck. That's right. Hashtag tacos. Let's do this. Are you ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. So like I said, we're gonna be printing a taco truck, and it all started in the 3D printing Facebook group, a guy by the name of Jim posted a picture of this taco truck you could purchase. It was a it was a truck, but it had slots for a taco. And of course he said, hey, we could probably 3D print this. And the conversation got pretty long and eventually I was like, whoa, we need to do this like right now. So Jim modeled something up in, in what was it? He used Tinkercad and, and he tested it out and he printed it and it turned out okay. And, uh, then Zortrax shipped me a whole bunch of filament and we made a joke about printing a taco truck and I said, hey, you pick the color, Jim, and I'll print you a taco truck. Jim picked yellow, this yellow, in fact, right here. And uh, let me show you, let me show you the filament in the box, in the box. Oh, that's right. It's on the printer, ready to go. First, I'm going to take you into Z Suite and show you what the truck looked like prior to printing and then we're in for a time lapse. So let's go to Z Suite. I loaded this model into Z Suite and I chose fast for printing and a normal amount of infill and a normal amount of support. Zortrax Z Suite automatically sets the support angle at 20 degrees, which is interesting in itself. Uh, but as you can see, there is support all over this truck. This truck is half support, but I don't care because it's a taco truck and I'm gonna print it. So you ready? Time lapse. Well, that was a good little time lapse. It's always fun doing a time lapse on the Zortrax machine because the bed just moves up and down and I don't have to attach the GoPro to the bed in order to get a good time lapse. But hey, you want to see how it turned out, right? Oh. There it is. This is a taco truck. This is the taco truck that, that Jim designed using Tinkercad and it, it turned out pretty okay. Zortrax machine M200, it did a good job, but oh, look at the horror show. That's what's left underneath. I removed most of the support uh, but it's, it was tough. The amount of support that was involved with this truck was just crazy. I'll have some, I'll have some final thoughts on this model and an idea of what to do next. But in the meantime, I'm going to go grab my friend Mallory and we're going to Taco Bell. Look, Hey, we are back. Mallory and I are back from Taco Bell. Hi, Mallory. Hey, Joel. Good. We've got a Doritos Locos taco. We've got a double decker. And we've got a chalupa. And we're going to test this truck properly. Go ahead and start to unwrap. And we'll load it front to back. So first, it's in a holder, but I don't trust it. We're going to load <laughs> the Doritos right. Locos taco. Okay. Do this one? It's, yeah, yeah, sure. Does it fit? Yeah, yes. it does. Okay, and the double decker. It's got the flower shell outer. <sighs> There we go. Look at that. That's awesome. That actually fits. That's good. And it fits. And Taco it looks like truck. In size order as well. It, it seems fits. like it. Although yeah. I think the Gordita is a little bit thicker than yes. the double decker, but it's okay. That's true. Awesome. Hey, it works. Now we have to eat it. Awesome. Let's eat. I'm going to eat this one. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Ah, uh, that Taco Bell was good. And a big thanks to my good friend Mallory for coming over and having some Taco Bell with me. Let's talk about this model though. In the tests, we did three different types of taco shaped foods from Taco Bell and the spaces were ample enough to fit each one. The gordita did have to be shoved into place, but it didn't taste any less tasty. This model itself, I do like and it is successful. Zortrax M200 did a good job in printing it and the Z Ultrat filament works really well, but the amount of support required 
in the Z Suite software is just horrendous. And uh, it's, it's a settings thing, obviously, and I can play around with that, but oh my God, don't print with that much support. It took me 45 minutes to get it to this point. There was support in here, and there was support under everything there, and in the back, and there was a whole bunch in the front, and it was just a support nightmare. Plus, when I was doing it, uh, I knocked this wheel loose a little bit, darn it. And uh, the smokestack, I, I also knocked off and I had to glue that back in. Uh, and I cracked the print a little bit from shoving needle nose pliers in to get all of the support material out. All right, so with this model, here's what I have in mind. Jim, I love you, buddy. You did a great job, but we need to come up with a model of a taco truck that has a flat base and doesn't require as much or maybe any support material. I think that we can come to a good design and maybe someone in the community will design another taco truck. You, you'll get credit as the first one that I've printed, obviously, but we should print some more. We should test this out. In my head, I was thinking of a taco train because you'd have the engine pulling cars of tacos and you could just print more cars to fit more tacos. I think it's a great idea. So in conclusion, Zortrax did a good job with this model. This model had a lot of support. It did support the tacos that I threw at it, but it does need a different design. And this was just a fun little print. Come on, I hit print on the, on the Zortrax and it just, it just kind of worked. And I used the yellow filament because Jim specifically wanted the yellow filament. And uh, I don't know, if you have a design for a taco truck that you think would print well, leave a link down in the comments or find me on Twitter or post to the 3D printing group on Facebook. I would love to see your design ideas. Well, that's it for now. Just a quick little build video. We did have a good time and it was community powered. I thought that was fun. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like tacos. Leave a comment down below talking about tacos. Uh, thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. Without their financial support, I wouldn't be able to get tacos. Taco, taco, taco. Uh, I love it. Hey, guys, don't forget, hug each other more. I love you guys. As always, high five.